Welcome back everybody. This video I'm going to show you how to set up a neat thing you can do in Blender which is you can edit and design your model and whatever you do to the left hand side the exact same thing is basically going to be mirrored and done in the right hand side. Now if you've seen the little video I did on mirroring an object this isn't quite the same. This is going to, instead of giving you two objects that are mirror images of each other, this is going to eventually give you one object that is exactly the same on the left as it is on the right. So this is great for a certain type of models that you try to make. Here's how you do it. Now, the start off to it, it's a little tricky. It introduces some concepts we've probably never done before, but here we go. This model has what they call an origin. Okay, you probably know it's like a center point. You can see it right there. It's in the center of the cube, right? The dead center of the cube. Okay, and as I move the cube around, you can see the origin moves with it. When you do this thing I'm going to do with the mirroring, the mirroring mirrors based on the center point. Now, what I'd like to do is I don't want to leave the center point right there. What I'd like to do is move the center point right to the edge right there okay right in the center of that face so this will end up being the right half of my model and then anything this way will be the left half and that's going to be the mirrored part that the program just does for us automatically so here's how i move the center point of this object over to this face okay and this is just you can memorize the steps or follow the video but i go tab to go into edit mode i select the face i right click to select that face and then I go here to mesh and I go mesh snap the cursor to selected so the cursor is this thing here that's floating in the world so mesh snap the cursor to my selected object and watch where it goes it moves to the center of the face perfect tab to get out of edit mode now, notice the cursor is sitting there in the center of that face. Now I just go Object, Transform, Origin. The origin of this object, I want it to be exactly where I just put the cursor. Now look, when I right-click my cube, check out where the origin is now. The origin isn't now at the center of the object anymore. The origins now at that edge. Now, once that's set up, that's it. So that's a little pre-step you have to do usually. Now, once I have that pre-step done, here we go. Do some modeling. All I do is this: I go to the wrench, which is modifiers. I add a modifier. I select mirror. I select which axis, not the X. Whoa, I do want X. Okay. X is going to be like my mirror, okay, the X axis, left and right. And then I can basically just leave that there, and I can go into edit mode and start editing. And so, for instance, if I grab an edge and pull it out, oops, maybe I need the Y. Yeah, I need to do it in the green line direction, so lesson learned there. So notice, everything I do in the Y direction is being imitated on the other side. I can take points, vertices, faces, do whatever. Okay, it's all going to work the same way and it basically mirror images it. Okay, and that's one object I'm making now. Now, I'm just going to go out of edit mode, go here. Notice here I can look at my model. That's really my model right now. Okay, I turn the modifier on visible. That's my model with the modifier. You can leave the modifier on here in the modifier window. You could even just minimize it if you wanted. Okay, it's up to you. But what eventually happens here is if you're totally done, totally, totally done, you could, if you want to, click Apply. And now the modifier is gone, and this is one model. Okay, so it's applied that modifier. Now, you don't have to do that. You could leave the modifier on if you wanted and just leave it there it'll actually render with the modifier on and you still get the same rendering so it's up to you right whether you know you're totally done and that's good or whether you want to make some edits now why might you want to hit that apply button 
you might want to hit the apply button if now you want it to do something different over here and it's going to be different over here so you don't want to have the modifier on anymore but anyways that's the modifier right so there's that weird step at the beginning where you change your origin point if you don't change the origin point uh it starts to make it a little weird uh, you can try doing it without changing it and see how it renders you'll see uh sides overlap each other and weird stuff happens anyways that's sort of the beginner version of it right enough to get you up and going